We need to consider more than just achieving next zero. We need to establish a mindset and the tools to actually stay there too. Welcome to Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory, and joining us today is Heather Campbell, Executive Director, Clean Technology with Alberta Innovates. Heather, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much, Rachel. Heather, what are the most important current clean technology trends? Well, the first I would talk about is BBC or Bitumen Beyond Combustion. BBC creates low cost carbon fiber. It diverts bitumen from being combusted where 80% of the life cycle emissions really are. It's 52% less uh, GHG intensive than current carbon fiber manufacturing and the low cost enables a market end use in lighter vehicles, making them more energy efficient and creating longer lasting infrastructure. The next one is CCUS, carbon capture utilization and sequestration. Canada's oil and gas sector is Canada's largest emitting sector, accounting for about 26% of Canada's emissions. So without further actions, emissions from oil and gas sector are projected to increase. Globally, consumers, businesses, investors are increasingly giving preference to cleaner fuels and investments. Third is hydrogen. Hydrogen is a critical part of Alberta's decarbonization future. Hydrogen is one of Canada's most exciting economic transformation opportunities to help businesses grow, dramatically reduce emissions in the industrial sector, and enable a new Canadian competitive advantage in a low carbon economy. Decarbonization and electrification. Global energy is increasingly based around electricity. That means the key to making energy systems clean is to turn the electricity sector globally from one of the largest producers of CO2 emissions into a low carbon source that reduces fossil fuel emissions. Considering the drive to net zero, is there one solution that helps us achieve net zero? It's going to be a range of technologies, Rachel, including nuclear power and all of all of the solutions, um, not just one, will be needed for clean energy transitions around the world. On the bioenergy front, the clean fuel standards target transformative change in how fuels are produced and used in Canada. And that's crucial for long-term decarbonization and to put Canada on the path to net zero emissions by 2050. Alberta Innovate supports the new plastics economy vision, and that's where we eliminate the plastics we don't need we innovate to ensure the plastics we do need are reusable, recyclable, or compostable, and circulate the plastic items we do use to keep them in the economy and out of the environment. What role does clean technology have in ESG management? ESG, Environment, Social and Governance. Clean technology, at the end of the day, really addresses sustainability while creating opportunity for economic diversification in Alberta. We need to consider more than just achieving next zero, we need to establish a mindset and the tools to actually stay there too. It also needs to focus on behaviors and values. So ensuring that Canada, Alberta's and Calgary's energy transformation is authentically inclusive ought to be a priority. Having incremental women in STEM fields and especially in engineering, in my view, will facilitate women participating in and leading the energy transformation. Energy storage and the corresponding technology development to enable it can contribute to energy independence, energy access, and energy equity, particularly for Indigenous and remote communities. In Canada, gender equality in the economy could bring in another 150 billion in GDP to the country. That's a prize that's being left on the table. Tell us about Alberta's performance in clean technology. Alberta Innovates has continuous intake funding and a clean technology program, which I lead. The government of Alberta is bolstering clean tech efforts through TIER, and the federal government is also a major funder of this technology. In Alberta, about 30% of women are involved in startups compared with 13% on average elsewhere in the country. In fact, about 63% of Calgary-based high-tech entrepreneurs were supported by Alberta Innovates. What's missing in the clean technology innovation ecosystem? Innovation needs to extend beyond the tangible technology. In Alberta, we're trying to use the concept of an innovation sandbox or safe space where you collaborate together in a space to succeed or fail for the technology, the business model, and the regulatory framework together that's not punitive. For us, the starting point for that is the Alberta Smart Grid Consortium. Realistically, we need to work actively on big picture cooperation, 
Clean technology just doesn't flourish jurisdictionally. Broad cooperation is needed. Thank you so much, Heather. It was so lovely chatting with you today and getting your perspective on clean technology. Proud of Rachel, be well. And thank you for watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 five five series. Make sure to like this video, share it to your networks, and subscribe to Global Energy Show's YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.